Hello, and welcome to this tutorial. In today's video we will go through how we wire up a Schneider M221 PLC with a sensor and a lamp. Before we wiring the power to the PLC make sure to check the voltage required for your PLC. It is written on the side of the PLC. I will wire up 230 voltage AC to my PLC's power input terminal. When we first load the power to the PLC the three first lamps on the PLC will be glowing red. If we just wait a little they will eventually turn green, then we know the PLC is ready and got correct power. Now that we powered up the PLC, it will allow us to use the 24 voltage output from the PLC. If I now check it with the multimeter we can see that we get about 24 voltage DC out from these terminals. To my COM terminal I am gonna connect 0 voltage DC. This is because I am gonna connect a PNP sensor to the inputs. Make sure which type of sensors you wire to your input side. If you have NPN sensors you wanna make sure you connect 24 voltage DC instead of 0 voltage DC to the COM terminal. Else you can damage your PLC and sensor. I am using a relay based PLC so on my output side on the PLC we have two sections where we can decide the voltage we wanna connect to them. The COM0 row are connected together with the four first output terminals. And COM1 are connected to the three other terminals. Since I will connect a 24 voltage DC lamp, I will connect 24 voltage DC to the COM0 terminal. I will also connect my sensor to the PLC. The sensor have three cables connected to it. 2 for 24 and 0 voltage DC, and 1 signal cable. So I will wire up my signal cable to the input terminal 0. And give the sensor the power it need. Now that I trigger my sensor on the PLC, we can see that the input lamp will be flashing on the PLC. Now the last thing I am going to do is to connect the lamp to the PLC. I will connect it to output terminal 0. And on the other side I will connect 0 voltage DC. I will download a simple program to the PLC which makes input 0 turn on output 0. When I now trigger my sensor it will turn on output 0 and give power to the lamp. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you liked the video give it a thumbs up and subscribe.